It all started with three men on a singles cruise ship, crossing the ocean with only one thing on their minds, the ladies. It was all going well until day three when pissed up Petrocelli decided it'd be a good lark if the three of them should test drive one of the ship's life rafts. After two hours passed by, they had lost sight of the cruise ship and the girls. Sunburnt and out of petrol, the three drifted, lost on a merciless ocean. To pass the time and honor his family, Jimmy renamed the vessel from life raft to the Lady Muff Diver, after his aunt Chloe and her close friend Mary, while Petrocelli threw a packet of three bolt flares at a pot of dolphins he claimed were about to attack. <laughs> It was hard to tell how long they were out there. After a violently seasick, Brad's wristwatch stopped working at 2.57 p.m., which was the exact time they ran aground on an unknown island two and a half hours after they left the cruise ship. Tired, thirsty, and wet, Brad and Jimmy watched Petra swig from a hip flask whilst a lone seagull circled overhead. Hey fellas, we really need to find some shelter and food. I'm cold! I what happened to all them birds? It's still circling up there. Fuck's sakes. <laughs> I'm still cold and wet. Right, well, we need a fire. Neon's got any matches, so we're fucked. Jimmy's gonna freeze to death, and we'll have to leave the cunt. Yeah, you're gonna have to eat me. Weird. What? Don't worry about it, mate. I always shove a cigarette lighter up my ass before I leave home. It's common sense. You've got a lighter up your ass. This this whole time you've had a lighter up your ass. For emergency. I've been snorting fucking fags for the past two hours. <laughs> you <all> know. <laughs> now the boys had the fire sorted. They split up to find food and shelter. Brad's watch had started working again, which took him back to a better time and made him think about his first true love. Why would she buy me such a shit watch? The sun was moving downward as Petrocelli and Brad met back up near the wrecked and washed up Lady Muff Diver. Where's Jimmy? Oh, I don't know. Who cares? Well, I got some crabs. Aye, I think I got some syphilis from that reddited bird last night. No, 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 no. Crabs to eat. Sick cunt. What are you on about? I'm talking about food. Did you find any food to eat? No, to be honest, I just squinted at a pair of coconuts and knocked one out behind the bushes over there. As Brad looks a little shocked at what Petra just said, Jimmy runs over to the boys now sporting a full beard he manufactured out of dried seaweed and holding a worn tennis ball with a roughly cut hole out of one side. I found shelter! I found shelter in a cave! And this tennis ball! Why's it got a face painted on it? Why have you got a beard? I name it... Wilson's sister! Jesus fucking wept. Next time on Shipwrecked. After two days on the island, the ocean tides wash up the much needed bag of boat flares. Will this be the episode where the boys get saved, or will Petra just let them off inside the cave? Tune in next week for another exciting episode of Shipwrecked. Can you boys give me and Wilson's sister some time alone? It's a fucking tennis ball, Jimmy. Your beard's falling off, mate. Can you two not fuck off? I'm trying to play Wilson's sister. This is like an episode of Lost, only Brad, you're Jack, I'm Sawyer, and Petrocelli, you're the Korean woman.